to show you one of the easiest ways that I batch cook my starches. And I am just doing some meal prep here. As you can see, I've got my melons and I'm going to chop those up to have those ready to eat in the fridge. But look, this is so easy and so simplistic. I have parchment paper that I use for previous like chips or something like that. So I just, I reuse my parchment paper as much as I possibly can until I need to recycle it. Um, but look, I have got kaboka squash here. I have Japanese sweet potatoes. These are red on the inside, white on the in, uh, red on the outside, white on the inside. I have russet potatoes. All of these potatoes I've simply cleaned off. You do not even have to poke holes in them. You can experiment if you'd like, but uh, it, you, it's actually not necessary. We have a new puppy. We have a new puppy. It's not necessary to um, to actually and poke I your potatoes. Her. And Cohen's in the background with our new puppy. Okay, and then these are Okinawan sweet potatoes. Um, these are white on the outside, purple on the inside. And as you can see, I'm just putting this all on my sheet pan. Uh, and it's as easy as that, literally as easy as that. You put the entire starch in. You can do this with spaghetti squash. You can do this with um, butternut squash. You can do this with any type of squash. You can just put the whole thing in. You can do this with the whole pumpkin when it comes pumpkin pie season. Um, but just put your starches on a baking sheet, 425 or 450 degrees Fahrenheit, put them in the oven, get a, a paring knife, poke them, wait about 45 minutes. That's going to be roughly the minimum that you need to wait if you're at 425 um, to start checking your starches. And some of them will be done at different times, of course, because some of them are smaller than others. But it's really easy to just pull them out and put them into a glass bowl and then um, you know, keep them in your refrigerator. You can put barbecue sauce on them. You can put greens on them. You can put garbanzo beans on them and load them up with taco seasonings. And um, you can eat starch all day, every day, and be as healthy as you possibly have ever felt before. And this is the way that I do it. You know, sometimes I'll do two baking sheets full. So I have spaghetti squash plus all these starches. And we're set for the week to then build our meals around. So I hope this helps you and have a great day.